how many uh, friends, ladies from socials, or I mean, like legitimate ladies that say, I would like to have a 25 year age gap. I want it. I'm searching for a 25 year age gap. How many ladies have you? How to start a really big age gap relationship? Let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Luba. And my name is Stryker. So over the, um, the last year, I guess, you know, we've talked to a lot of different guys and some of them have large age gaps, don't they? Like 25 years, what's the largest one? It's like around 30-ish, isn't it? 30, 20. 30, 28 year age gap. And we start to learn some things, right? And we think that we've got enough information to present to you guys out there who are, who are wanting a large age gap because a lot of guys do want it because they've seen um, that it can be possible to start a large age gap. And then, um, so we're gonna present these ideas to you, all these points. I don't know if you call them ideas, but I'd almost gonna say facts. I'm gonna call them facts to you. And then at the end of um, the video, we're gonna tell you, uh, I believe, I'm not sure Luba thinks the same, but a, a very sure way that the relationship can last the distance. Of the age. Yeah, the big age gap distance. Of because distance... Uh, yeah, well, not, not distance, distance but right? large age gap um, range. Okay, I'm very curious about your thoughts because uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. you know, guys, that I not support it and uh, there's the reason why. Well, I want to clarify that because Luba sometimes says I don't support it, but I know what she means. She actually means that she doesn't encourage it. Yeah, I mean, I support the guys no matter what. Yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah. I not... I mean, we have guys with us now who have large age gaps, and of course, we always like support them. We do what, the, the best that we can. But when it comes to encouraging it from the start, we're sort of like, nah, unless you can f do certain things, which is what I'm going to talk about okay, today. Okay, perfect. Okay, so if, look, if you are looking for a, a large age gap, okay, the first thing that you really need to think about, um, and this is what is common with these large age gap relationships, and we're talking 25 to 30 years, right? These are big, big age gaps. The first one is trust. So if she, she has to have a level of trust um, uh, for this man, right, for you. She has to have a level of trust that goes beyond just a normal age gap, just like a four or five year age gap where um, when it comes to trust, it's like, oh yeah, you know, it's not a big deal. But if she's gonna like uh, start a relationship with you, like a romantic, a romantic intimate relationship, there has to be a large amount of trust and that has to offset the large age gap. So when you think about a relationship, there are different. There are a few different points you have to think about. One is like um, appearance, age, right? Social status, like who is this guy? Like what does he have? And the other one is money. So if you're lacking in, say, um, looks, or looks, age, uh, you have to make up for it in one of the other uh, corners of the triangle, which is money, money. right? And if um, uh, you're lacking in money, maybe you're just super handsome and you're just ripped as anything and the woman is like, I don't care, like I'm just happy to be with this guy like, and he's got like a massive Instagram following or whatever. And it offsets, so you've got to There should be something. It. it cannot be just on a plane. Like, uh, like Think about it like a three-pronged scale. It always has to be balanced. So one has to offset the other one, okay? So and this is important to remember when you go when we go through these. And I just want to say here is that you said like 25, 30 years old age gap. You want to go bigger age gap? Like 40, 50? <laughs> of course I want. You Let's know my 60. preferences. <laughs> but uh, like I, uh, even 20, like even 20, like let's type from 20 to 30 because um, a 20 years old in Ukraine is still like it's it's also a giant age gap when um, you know uh, like usually parents and kids in Ukraine you know may have 20 years age gap for example me go ahead <laughs> so this is so let's go back to that trust thing okay one thing that um, what do you mean by trust you need to trust uh, in what that he is uh, not lying to you or yes. or Yes, that he's that he's genuine. He's a good guy. He can take care of um, the well, lady. But that what he, has uh, what it has to do with money and? Uh... Well, let, like if I go to the next point here, because it sort of leads into it. So um, that that he that he is a good guy. That he reliable. Reliable, yes. Um, that he is honest. He treats um, a, a lady with respect, with kindness. He has Tr kindness in and him. treat good your parents and mother her and father and, and mother. Like mother he's, and he's generous, as they they call yeah. it. But really, he's just like he's just um, a good provider. And this is why it quite often happens, and this is like another point here, is that this is why um, quite often the translator falls in love with the guy. 
you know. And you know, we guys fall in love with translators. Well, I've done a video. I mean, on this is the, oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Mean, you mean that this happened? It's oh, a, it's a like, reverse translator. Like, love. why it can happen uh, yeah. other way around? Yeah. Well, well, this is like I made a video. Uh, like, man, it was like two years ago, probably. It was like on the fly on my iPhone, and it was like, why guys fall in love with their translators? I'll put like a link here somewhere. Um, and it's because like the, the woman is caring. She's looking after her, out for him, and she's um, you know she he's like if, that's everything that he's looking for. But it's the other way around too. Like if there is a translator, you know, and she has some of these other points as well, even though there's like a 20 to 30 year age gap, she sees this guy on dates with all these other women. Yeah, it right? happened because of that. Yeah, because yeah. you see how he treats the other how ladies. How he treats them. And, she, and, he gets, and she gets to know him on this level where, where he's like saying like, you know, like I really want to do these special things for her from behind the scenes. And she's like, <sighs> Wow, like I, like any guy, I've never seen this before, you know. But there's two downfalls for that. Like, why is she doing that? Why why is she falling in love? Um, like, which we what kind of girl would fall in love? Like, if, with the, this uh, big age gap interpreter, I mean, it should be either the girl who is um, who doesn't have a father or who had a very bad relationship, and mm. she just see the father in this guy. Uh, and it's up to you would you like to be your father <laughs> or no so she look at this care and like she look at you as a man of course like as a partner but like she has a feeling like she can be a little yeah. girl and little daughter next to you and that, and that is and that's one of the points this is one of the points and yes. second point is that she should have something bad to compare with so it means that she divorced and she probably has uh, I don't know if it is right to say like leftover kids you know, um, and probably not everyone. Yeah. yeah, and so and like and, and the, it all actually just ties in. Ties, and sort you know, of ties it's not together. that we're just making up this. Like I don't know how many stories like that I have in my experience. Even when I was running the agency, and I have a I have a girl who uh, actually got married later on, uh, maybe after about like seven years of working in the industry but i've seen at the beginning like because she was from very very poor family and she never had father and she was yeah. like so much caring about she has a lot of nieces and nephews and so she like she was always like in all the it was kind of an issue that in all the clients she was like looking for the partner as well even okay. though she was just translating yes yeah, so. I, I guess i guess like if you could call that point three um then yeah like if she does have some sort of psychological problem uh, that could be related to what we would refer to as daddy issues, which is a real thing. Um, I've ex experienced it myself, and that's how I actually found out about it. And it is a real psychological issue. Um, and so if you find a woman with daddy issues, you can have a huge age gap relationship. There's a lot of other bad things about it, but I'm not going to go into it in this video here. But you know, but, I, I, like, I, I will stop you for a second here. I was on a trip recently with a friend, and so the couple there, she is 22 and he's 32. So it's still 10 years uh, age gap and uh, but that's okay uh, it's not a big deal it, you know in this kind of matter like she's like a kid and uh, she's like running around jumping and he's like running the business he's very serious and she's always like oh let's take a cell and he's like more like more um, because he started working pretty early yeah so he's more uh, but the reason that I say that is that um, she said you know I we was talking like girl to girl talk and she say no I was dating for because she was a model she was doing the like pictures for of different of course uh, she was doing the pictures for different um, uh, magazines like for the shops for the boutiques and she said that I have so many like boyfriends who was like around me all the time but only him like was showing that care and she told that like she really said that her that her father was an alcoholic and mother left him when they was kids mm. she has a smaller brother and so she really find in this guy even like with the 10 age gap the like she's with him because he's like she loves him and they have a kid together but it's because like you know she feel like yeah. a father he cares about her he give that uh if he would be the same age she would not have these feelings to him and she said i was never attracted to anybody uh younger is it yeah. a good thing or bad it's I, I think that that is also um yes he's older but i don't think yeah this, like this. Is, but i think more what she maybe she doesn't understand it maybe she does on a, an evolutionary stem uh, you know from a stand, evolutionary standpoint but he, that's more frame like he has a strong frame like he understand like he's got uh, his shit together and she's willing to go into that frame and she's happy to accept it so it's a little bit different from like a say 15 20 year age gap where maybe his frame is not exactly ideal for her it's ideal 10 year age gap he's got money she can you know she's had bad experiences maybe she's got other issues or whatever she falls into that into that frame and that's and frame is important so um yeah but the girls who was like falling in love with the guys who are like older there is something about them that make them do it it's, it's daddy like, issues 
Okay. It's, if there's lack, lacking of a father or father figure. But it's true, you know, even like true. if I don't really like that, I understand that it is true. It, it yeah. is true because when they didn't have it, it's, it's a lack of attention. They're looking for that. So you could like try and qualify on a first date. If she's got no father, um, you can maybe, um, it, it would be easier for you. So. I have like, can I say one example that I have? Okay. Like, <laughs> no, I'll just keep going, keep going. No, no I'm just like, I, I really... So basically what we're saying is like to, to get a age, big age gap started, there are certain things that, you know, you need to sort of like go okay. through. Without example, but it was, it was really like, she was the, like, I just, it just came to my mind. It was one of the first couple that I kind of helped and I was like, just shocked. I was younger and I was like, it was so bad, but she was like much younger. I think it was like 30 years age gap. He was an um, uh, Asian guy and was living in Seattle and I can't understand like what keeps, I mean, I understood like why he likes her, but why she was there. And she was not a scammer. She was, uh, she was just a very naive and young just a girl and uh, she said that she was from the family of seven and hmm. uh, she was not the most desirable like last kid of her mother when she already have like six kids and she said that you know she never have a clothes she never have like she was always wearing the clothes from you know the older um, siblings and uh, she never cared that care and so in this uh, guy she met um, you know boyfriend uh, father brother uh, etc so they even apply for the visa and they even got it she moved there and in two weeks I got a message with the title bad news and I was really like shocked by him because he said like I, I sent Elena home and it was like a little parcel you know this message was like you know I sent I sent this like you or I order some 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 give like some tool for the kitchen and it doesn't work I send it back so this is one of the examples okay but but still mm. you know it's possible if we're talking about the general process they was dating they even got visa she even came there and so but hmm Okay, so here's another one that I've observed. If you want to get an a, um, a relationship with a big uh, age gap started, is that she must be around the age of 35. I'm actually, I'm gonna tie this into the next one. There were actually two separate ones, but she must be around the age of 35 or what's commonly known as, like they call it the wall. I don't like this, this terminology, but basically what it's saying is that like she's got to the age where um, she can. She knows that like she can't really um, have kids easily. Okay, so now she needs a man to take care of the kids that she already has. So that, which comes to the other point, which she must have uh, kids already. She must have. If she has two kids, you're in. You're in luck, I guess you could call it. Uh, if she has three or four kids with two different fathers, you are also in luck for her willing to start a relationship with a man who's 25 years older. Um, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna go into the, the problems that you're gonna have with the fathers of those other kids. Hopefully they're out of the picture or they're not interested or whatever, and that's gonna make it easier for you. Um, but if she's in a position where she knows that she's had her kids, she's had her time, and um, now she needs someone to come in and take care of these kids, She's, and she knows it also, like when she gets to the age of 35, especially in Ukraine, if she has um, a couple of kids, two, three or four kids, uh, you know, she's not, if she's not in a relationship, she's not, uh, I guess, she, I easily can get, I don't know what you would call it, you would call it, um, um, yeah, it's not, um, without trying to be rude or anything like that, but she's kind of like the lower hanging fruit, I suppose. No, unfortunately, probably... like it, there's just better options for the guys, for the, yeah. especially for the locals guys, yeah. local guys. But um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so so that's so that's one way. So if you are looking for a 25 year age gap with a woman that has no kids, then it's probably not a good option, but as a, strat from a, as a strategy, if you wanna have a large age gap for whatever reason, you wanna get one started, um, definitely look for a woman that has kids, maybe with, uh, with multiple fathers, fathers in the picture. You know, I want to stop here for one second because I heard this phrase so many times when I was working for big companies, uh, when the guy come to the social and he see the girl and she, he come to this girl and, and um, uh, like it's always like the guys, I don't know who watching us now, right? Because it can be guys who never did it and or, or who is doing that now or who will say proof 
that Luba is right. So they were coming to this girl and uh, the girl was like <laughs> giggling and she would be like oh, with her giant eyelashes, blue eyes, blonde, uh, smiley, and etc. And uh, um, he would say, she would come to him because she's a draw card, like how you call these girls, like forward girls. Mm -hmm. And uh, he would kind of feel a little bit... Um, like embarrassed that she came but like in a pleasant way and then the next thing that would happen he would say how old how old are you and she would say um uh, like how like sometimes the girl don't want to say because one time at the social it was funny i was working with the guy and he actually asked me to come to the girl before he started talking to her uh, to ask how old is she and it was primo answer she say how old should i say <laughs> and i was like what do you mean and then she because she saw that i was with a client and she was kind of like she was obviously not a legit girl and she said how much should they say how, how old should they say mm -hmm. and so 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 the, what i was what i was trying to say is that um the girl, uh, he would say, um, don't you mind, like you see that I'm much older than you. And the girl was always saying, um, how old are you? And the guy would say, guess. So, I mean, this dialogue, you can't uh, tell me anything that I'm saying that's wrong because it's all, always like that. And, um, and she would say, he will look like 70 and she would say, 49. The guy would be like, oh, yes, I'm like, I'm a little bit older. He would never say the age and he would say, uh, or maybe he would say that, you know, oh, thank you so much. And she, he would say, I'm 65. And she would say, I would never guess. Like, you look so much better. For the guy, it's all you need to hear. It's all what you want to hear. And then what happened next? He would say, don't you mind that we have such an age gap? And her next phrase will say that age, it's just a number. Age doesn't matter. And again, it's exactly what the guy wants to hear. And why I stop here to say that is that when start you talking about like how to get like this relationship, it's like with the legit ladies. It's with the real ladies. Mm. Like it's like not the girl who would tell you that, you know, uh, of course I will go with you. Like let's get married and etc. Who wants to get something out of you. Like in a restaurant, like, uh, re restaurant um, Scan, iPhone yeah. and etc. Not this kind of girl who is ready for everything. We're talking about like real people. Uh, we're talking actually, about a real relationship. Yeah, real relationship that actually can lead you. Like uh, can, can, can build if you have a la large age gap. And because like some of you who are watching that, they may say, oh, I heard different from a word. Or like I letter writing with a girl who say that age doesn't matter. We're not talking about this. We're talking about mm. real people age, and, yeah. and and legit relationship, not somebody who is there just talking to you and uh, yeah. uh, and mislead you. I would so, put it this yeah. Way. So what we're saying is that age does matter, doesn't it? Like it let me let me ask you a question. How many uh, friends, ladies from socials, or I mean like legitimate ladies that say. I would like to have a 25 year age gap. I want it. I'm searching for a 25 year age gap. How many ladies have you? Have I you never ever heard that. And the and the thing is that I'm hearing that for guys would be probably shocking. And I know that it's achievable in Ukraine. I have a lot of clients, like ladies, like friends in their like 50s who looks extremely hot, who has like such a sexual uh, energy and power and they have such an experience uh, that uh, they have younger lovers. Mm. They have guys who are younger. I can believe this. I, can uh, believe this. I mean, I, I, I have no uh, need to lie to you guys. And uh, a lot of Ukrainian ladies in their like 45s and even 50s, like remember this lady I told you about the wine tasting, like, like she has such energy that guys are just chasing her because mm. she's like, um, I mean, for I mean, maybe it's Ukrainian guys has mommy issues. I don't know, but they looking for the lady who has experience, who has something to share. You know, not the virgin who is like, oh, what should you do with me? Or some. I mean, maybe I sound a little bit rude, but I tell you the reality, and you know that we always say the truth. So I have never ever heard any single lady who are willing to. No matter is she twenty, mm. if she thirty, or if she fifty. And 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 that and there's a reason that I asked that question. It's because. And I know hundreds of like, I mean, of course, all over Ukraine yeah, and, and Belarus and yeah. Because, yeah, well, okay. So the reason that I asked that question is because there's, um, women are not actively seeking for it. That means that if you would like to have it, you have to con basically convince a lady that yes. it's a good option. She's not looking for it. If she's not looking for it, it's a lot, it's a lot harder to, uh, to, for you to achieve that. So the reason why I put these things down is because I've seen these things and you've seen these things as well. And these um uh, 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 uh things that you have to think about if you're thinking you're going to come over here for a seven day tour and uh and be able to build that trust you know 
it's it's a little bit difficult but you, maybe you can find a lady who has three or four children to a couple of different uh fathers and maybe she is more open to it thinking well i've got not that many options so maybe i can maybe take advantage of the situation and have this guy you know look after me and look after my kids so and another like i i just remember about one couple that uh, happened in my life is that the only like there was a lady she was always looking for older men uh, I just like you said if I know anybody and uh, she just came to my mind so they met on some um, website I don't remember like but some free like where she registered by herself uh, it was not an agency and she was looking for older men because she was from a smaller city in Russia when uh, where um, how you call this thing that you find in the ground like uh, like people go to like metals and gold like Tre like treasures okay i'll put it this okay. way so she was like from the small small city she has a son and she was living a very very poor life and she like the the man there like the man who was not drinking the man who was not cheating the man who was just like coming basically home and making at least some kind of money it mm -hmm. was like a treasure it was almost impossible to find even she was like a very cute tiny blonde you know very nice she was very very talented and and everything and so she was looking for older men because she she was she was tired of men who are are, you know younger and who are cheating and who are not like not serious and who like will jump out of here as soon as she got sick or you know something happened with her kid so she was looking for this bigger age gap um, but again it's the same as striker say like she should be ready for that she should be looking for that and it is not 25 years old girl who has no kids and who is just top yeah. model and sitting and waiting for for the guy to come and um and that actually to move to some country and that actually leads into the next one which is you can like you have to have a woman that sort of has you know in the west we call it like damaged goods right and that sounds like a terrible term but i'm just saying it so yes without having to describe it so much she has to have been in a relationship with a guy that was maybe her age and things didn't go so well maybe he was abusive maybe he drank maybe he whatever it doesn't matter what it was but she if she'd had a really terrible experience uh with uh, like really terrible with a local guy and she'd heard about western guys uh again the value of the western guy is inflated and maybe it offsets the fact that he is much older so it's all about that you know that trifecta balancing scale where you have to offset something with something else but and, and if you're if you know that yeah and if you you're okay with it, it and you're okay with it and you can use that you know like and a lot of guys do it anyway they even if they're not even with a big age gap um they they try and offset stuff with um with money anyway or the the, the perception that they have a lot of money which they think believes at least them believe that they can um have a lot of security but there is um one one i reckon this is the best way okay i reckon this is the best way that a guy can have a 20 to 30 year age gap with the least amount of problems and i think it can actually work i think it can actually be he can almost eliminate almost all problems almost all i know you don't agree with it but at least this i think that okay let's say i think that he's got the best chance of getting a a 30 year age gap relationship started okay and that is to move to ukraine to move to ukraine and to have that security there buy an apartment have her move into the apartment she can move in with her two Control kids her. the um the the two fathers can come around on alternative uh, sundays to visit but the control here as well right is it just for control, control? Well, of because course. like if you're not like if you're in this relationship and you can't control you never know what is happening no matter how bad it sounds and how much i don't want to say that but you never know what is actually happening because she can just like maybe you mean if they're doing a long distance big gauge get relationship um yes like if, if he is just like talking to her and he like the guys always like suspicious about that and they don't really like know and they worry and then it causes a lot of dr uh, drama yeah, if well, you're ready to move if you're ready to build this relationship here then you know it also possibly can work but i i believe that that is the way to do it i believe if you really do if you are at an age where you can retire semi-retire something like that and you do want a large age gap if you move to ukraine you can get that that's not to say it's going to be a loving relationship that she's going to be with you till the end of time that um i mean it, it, it's, again it's offset with value the value of a guy living here is going to be paying for her apartment or for your apartment your house or whatever it is she's going to see value in that and that's not to say that she's using the guy she genuinely could feel love for this man who is taking care of her and her kids like we're not trying to say that because um uh, she has kids to other 
uh, men and he's looking after it. That's not to say that she doesn't have love for this man. And like love can go a lot deeper than um, uh, like looks, right? She can genuinely have love for this man who's like done a lot for her. So we're just telling you how we believe a lot. It can happen. That, that, it, that how it can happen. But, I'm, but what we are telling you, probably one thing to sort of point out is that you can't come over for seven days Pay five, seven, eight thousand dollars to a um, dating agency and expect a woman to build up the trust that she's going to trust you. That's going to be there. And that's why we throw in the. Um, if she's the translator, she sees a different side. She sees the real man. She sees the man when he's down, when he's being real, and all of these things. So she sees that, and that's why these relationships start with that, you know. But if she has got kids, she'll and she's had shitty times um, with local men to say. Then she will be open to it as well if you move over to ukraine then of course it's a lot easier to get it started so i guess um moving to ukraine if that doesn't i guess if that doesn't sort of that doesn't work out well for you if that's not realistic enough there is another way to do it as well and that is to go back in time about 10 years if you can i don't know how you like um, oh, can you do what you mean you need to like a uh, find a flux capacitor oh. do you know what that is sure no uh, okay. and then you put it into like a DeLorean and drive 88 miles per hour but seriously like if you went if if you went somehow if somehow you could go back in time I know I'm sort of being a little bit sarcastic but the reality of it is is that 10 15 years ago it was much easier to achieve these really large age gaps things were a lot different back then I don't think we need to go into a lot of detail in there but if you were um, um, 10 years ago 20 years ago for sure definitely you can achieve a 10 15 year age gap not a problem these days it's a little bit different, but um, yeah, if you go back 10 years, but if you go back 10 years ago, would you be 10 years early, younger? Yeah. Or would you meet the 10 year younger version of yourself? And then you could have a chat to him and you could say, look, this is what's going to happen. You need to. I mean, it's a little bit like, uh, you know, <laughs> unrealistic, but uh, Stryker is right. Uh, time change and um, uh, nowadays everything yeah. is a bit different than 10, 15 years ago. Can and if some of your like, like because a lot of, sometimes guys say, oh, you know, I have a neighbor, I have. That's it. That's the, that's the reason. For yeah, that yeah. That, why yeah. they why they are looking for that, and so sometimes they say that, and. Um, yeah, exactly. Like people say, well, I've got a friend. They've been married for like fifteen years. Okay, so they met each other at least fifteen years ago, maybe sixteen years ago. Things were different then, so you have to you have to assess it on that. So don't forget, 10, 15 years ago it was a different time. Those people that have been married for 10, 15 years. They were at a different time. They're going to give you the advice from 10, 15 years ago. Uh, I'm sure some, some of it can be helpful, even entertaining. But please don't apply it in today's day and age because you'll get 10 years from now down the track going, I don't understand what happened. They told me that they did it and it didn't work for me. It's and also I want to say time. here about the girls that they shouldn't have a spoiled past, right? Yeah, that's true. They Yeah, if the, if the if she's been spoiled in the past, like in... Um, I don't know if I've talked about it before, but I know I'm going to talk about it in some future videos. Is that like her value is not determined by you? Her value has been determined uh, for her own self worth by people in the past. What has she been given? What does she expect? She would now? expect you. What is she expecting going forward? If you're dating one of these like girls who um, I don't know how do we call it, like the the typical Ukrainian big boobs, big lips. Been sport. Even if she's got kids, I mean, there are a lot of pro daters with kids, right? You know, it's not because she, you can't say just because she's got kids, she's uh, serious. So that's not the way that it works. But if she's been sport in the past, if someone's been pushing and inflating her value up. Um, this is not really a type of woman that you're going to have a uh, long relationship with, with a large age gap. You're just going to be another guy with a large age gap that's trying to win her over. You know, does that make sense? You agree? Yeah, I understand what you mean. Yeah. Like I hope guys understand as well. Yeah, yeah. so if she has a, somebody who was spoiling her before, she'll really have such a high expectations. She's, yeah, she's almost and, using the yeah. age gap as a... As yeah, and a, she think, okay, if you are older, like you should you should now uh, buy me, basically buy me. So, I mean, if you want to buy somebody's beauty, uh, knowing that it's just a business re relationship when... Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it fall? Because it... They it's just fall, fall out sometimes? <laughs> no. Because like it doesn't sleep. sound like it's a very secure earring. Uh yeah no no it was it's okay so um yeah if um if uh, you are willing for this business relationship when you buy her stuff and she's doing something in return for mm -hmm. you then also possibly it can work. Well that's the value thing isn't it? It's like you have to offset something with something. It's all about checks and balances. That's what I, that's what I believe anyway. So that's how you can get a 
big age gap relationship started. We don't encourage it. We don't, and like you but, know, want, I, but I'll just add here. But we want to make sure that you understand what it is for real, so you can make a decision. Yeah, it's for, you, for you. Yeah, it's what yeah. I was going to say. Yeah, we like uh, we not encourage that because I have like probably too big of experience of like seeing that this relationship can start. It can take like they can work for some time. For somebody, it can be a year. It can be two years. It can be even ten years. But it never lasts forever. And I'll, I'll as just, happy as you want, like maybe it, it lasts like you know somehow, but definitely not um, the way it can be if you have uh, less of an age gap, better understanding with the person, better quality person. I would put it this way. And when both of you are at the same page, because remember that there's nothing more important to be at the same page um, uh, with. Um, with uh, with your partner uh, have the same life experience the same uh, life goals uh, interest um, uh, everything even health issues <laughs> you know it's important it's important to yeah there was actually another thing sorry that, that i was going to add in there is that you have to like have your health sure because health is virility virility is it the word Vitality? yeah remember we was talking yeah. to one guy and actually like to be honest like we told him that he can't come to like to us at least like because we are honest like if we talk to the guy um we would never take your money and put you on the on the board of heart rocket if we think that you like we can't help you mm. and so he actually said that that he is sick and he wants to find a big age gap he can leave her some money but i i don't know uh, yeah. if it is true and then he said that he needs her to take care of her i don't know if it is fair so well he's well here's the thing <clears throat> If he wants to have that big relationship, he needs to look at the trifecta triangle and he needs to offset that, you know, now he's got this one, he needs to offset it with money. At the end of the day, like it's uh, like it's all about value. Like what value is she gonna bring to you? And you know what value it's gonna be. She's young, she's hot. Uh, maybe she, you know, brings a, a, a vibrant young family and that's what you're looking for. But you need to uh, bring value to her. And the bigger the age, and, I, and I'll say this here, and I wasn't going to say this in this video, but of the three um, big large age gaps where they have children, um, where they where the lady is over thirty and there's a twenty to twenty five to thirty year age gap, where some of those three met as translators at other companies, all three are now over as of the last probably month or two. Yes, and one of them lasted four years, one of them lasted two years, whatever it was. I don't want this uh, video to be negative. Well, I want well, this. But it's not uh, negative. It's, it's a positive. It's not negative. It's positive. It I guess like, just because kind of you know, I, like I just know that a lot of companies they will sell you whatever you want mm. to hear. You know, it's like when you buy something at the shop. I don't know. Maybe in US is different, but in Ukraine you would say, um, "Is it the good cream?" Like you're buying the cream, and they say, "Okay, of course it's good." If they see that you have money and then you want to buy it, like they will tell, "Of course it's good." Maybe if they have like two options, they would say, "Like um, you know, get this," but still you know like um other companies they would be willing to sell you what you want to buy because they actually i mean maybe they care i, I would not uh, you know express their um their morals we have our moral and we uh we want to help guys we really have and you know i, I work for so long and when i talk about that i was recently like um on this train and i was talking to one girl and she said luba like you have so much passion like your eyes are just like she said, i have a goosebumps after when you talk about your industry and about when you say uh, that you've been on the wedding and then like I was talking about like Texas wedding that I attend and everybody was like dressing in these cowboy hats and big boobs uh, bo boobs <laughs> <laughs> boots uh, sounds like you're in Odessa <laughs> yeah and I, I was I'm so happy about that so for me you know I, I live with this job like I live for that I live to see people happy to create the couples and to help them and assist them I don't want to see any parties uh, struggling and if you willing to build relationship and you want to hear my stories, my advice, you know, and like strikers advice, uh, advice as well, as long as we're like already working for quite a bit. So just give us a call. And if you have some hesitation and you'd like talking to some lady and you don't know how it goes and are you doing the right thing, just, just really like call us and um, I will help you to put everything in order because sometimes it's very difficult when you're not talking to anybody about that mm. and you just like accumulate everything in your brain. Yes. You, you, it's very hard for you to, uh, to you, uh, for you to make a you can't, right you decision. Can't, yeah, you can't give 
example A, B, C, because this, everybody's so different, right? Yeah, so I was looking yeah. to one guy and I, I say him something, I, I don't want to say that on a camera, but I told him something and you know, uh, and I was like looking for this like kind of like, um, because everybody needs like individual approach and it's what we are about. We never say the same things to the guy, we never like, mm. we always try to do it individually. And I was like thinking like, from which side can I help him to make like this pain that he has about this like lady to let it go. And I told him something at the end that was like a knife for him. For him it was like, he even like write it down and then the next morning he said like, Luba, like I'm reheal. You know, I like, you cut it out of my heart. And so he's free to go and he's like, he's fresh and he's, he's, um, I know who you're talking go. about because he messaged me as well after that call, I think. Yeah. So, and I was like, it take me quite a long time to understand like how exactly, what exactly to tell him. Because when I talk to you through the camera, like it's difficult to feel you and like say, Hey, stand up, we can do it. Let's go. You know? So, but it's possible. And we just encourage healthy cool adventurous relationship it's what we that will last that's the whole that idea. will last that will that will last so that's that's kind of it i guess that's how you can get a um, um a large really large age gap uh started whether you maintain it or not remember what i said value diminishes so if you understand that from the start maybe there's something that you can do to maybe stop it from diminishing and maybe start but remember increasing. that only you are the person who makes yourself happy and only you know what you need so follow your heart and subscribe to our channel we'll okay. see you next time we'll see you next time